and then what we're going to do is um, I'd like to blow air on it if there is any water in the conduit to get the water out and then shoot a slug through there, a mandrel, make sure everything's fine. If that comes out and it's good, then the next thing we're going to do is shoot a foam carrier through there, a sponge with lube in front of it and behind it. And what that's going to do is it's going to lube the run ahead of the cable. When that comes out, the next step is to prep the cable. And what we'll do is we'll put a missile on the front end of the cable attached to a swivel, attached to a grip on, on the fiber. And what we'll do is, um, once we do all these tests, we'll feed the cable to the back of the machine, lower the tracks, turn the air on, get the cable moving, start nice and gently. So we'll have to make sure it's coming off of the reel, you know, at the same time it's going into the blower. And I can control the speed or we can control the speed on that. But that's going to be the process. So the first thing we got to do pretty much is blow out any water that might be in the run, go on the other side, prep that. And I don't know if you want to connect a piece of duct on that end yeah. to help it yeah, transition yeah, yeah, yeah. up out of the manhole. So what we'll do is as soon as um, you know we get there, that will allow you to get your slack out and do what we need yeah, to we do. Yeah, we need to pull 500 feet okay. on that side. So what we'll do is when we first start to blow the cable, um, the machine will take uh, distance readings, but we'll take the marking off the cable too to make sure everything is in balance. So, um, so that's it. So And what this does is this sits right here. And what that does is when we're pressure testing or sending uh, the rat and the mouse through, that prevents the air from blowing back. So when you put this on top, it creates a seal. And it goes just down like that with your pipe coming into it. So once we are done with proofing and sending the um, sponge through, we'll pop that up and then we'll put the feed tube in and then run the cable through. These here, I was mentioning, are cable seals. Okay, so once you get your um, feeding tube out, you, you're ready to put the cable in, wrap these around the cable, okay? You want to have the, um, this uh, nail in here, lip facing both towards the way the fire is going, okay? You want to have the split down. Like and they'll both be like that, okay? And what that does is that will prevent the air from coming back through this way. So when you're sizing these, you may know the uh, OD of the fiber, or you may not. Oh, you got your the best thing to do already. is you grab one that you think's close and fit it around there. Make sure, make sure it has a little bit of play. You don't want this thing super uh, super tight, so then you're going to create a pinch. Okay. So, so the first thing we got to do pretty much is blow out any water that might be in the run, go on the other side, prep that. And I don't know if you want to connect a piece of duct on that end yeah. to help it yeah, transition yeah, yeah, yeah. up out of the manhole. Good company. We got it.
<laughs> Are they getting water or anything out over there? I can't ask them to do the phone. Oh, okay. It, Tom. I will. So, um, so that's it. 